One of the most consistent trends that you see in ultra successful people is some variation on a morning or an evening routine. Now there are tons and tons of videos on people's really elaborate one hour of meditation morning routine, but no one ever says why you should actually do one and what the actual power and importance of it is. Now in this video, I wanna share what I think are the five most concrete reasons you should have a morning or an evening routine. What's up guys, Alex Hine, author of the personal development book, Master the Day. Now, for morning people like me, even if you are a morning person, if you don't drink coffee, the morning can be a really groggy, rough time. So it's one of those times where you could use a good pep up, but if you can't drink coffee because it affects your stomach like me, or you just don't like the jitters, you're looking typically for other options. Now, a really cool product that I like is called Cacao Bliss. So it's a healthy ceremonial grade chocolate blended with other superfoods like MCT oil in the famed bulletproof coffee style, turmeric, Himalayan sea salt, and more that have been scientifically proven to increase mental cognition, boost your mood, sharpen your focus, and really skyrocket your productivity. And I've also seen that it only works amazing for energy levels. It really takes care of the sweet cravings too, because there is chocolate, there's cacao in it. Now recently I've experimented with drinking cacao bliss with a tiny bit of oat milk. And I've definitely seen that it's not only something that's energizing, but it's something that I really look forward to since coffee is not a part of my morning routine. Now if that interests you guys, you can check out the link below to cacao bliss and use the discount code HEIN to get a discount there. So to me, the number one benefit of a morning or an evening routine is you prevent the drift effect. I mean, Earl Nightingale, one of my favorite personal growth authors, shares the story of a ship. And he says that people are like ships. If a ship leaves a port, let's say in New York, and it wants to go to Japan, as long as it knows where it wants to go, no matter how blown off course it gets, it can always course correct. But if it has no destination, then no matter how fast it goes forward, it can never reach where it wants to go. And for many of us, we are that rudderless ship. And the morning or the evening represent that drift because we get up, we're unconscious, we rush through the day, we're reactive. But what if instead you started your day deliberately with a mission and a purpose and that set the tone for your life? The second reason for me is that you can almost guarantee that every day is a focused day. You know, I've talked to people all the time, I've coached hundreds of people, and some people wake up and they say, I just woke up on the wrong side of the bed today, guess it's gonna be a sad or grumpy or depressing day. But the whole point of a morning or an evening routine is you're consciously deciding how you wanna set the intention for the day. The point is, you may wake up and have a bad day, you may be going through a breakup, you may be going through death, you may be going through losing all your friends or prolonged illness, and you haven't felt well for a long time. In those times is where you learn what you're made of, and that is where setting an intention for the day to do your best, to do these things you said you would to improve your life is so critical. So whereas most days we get up and what do we do? We putz around, run to the shower, brush our teeth, maybe you make your coffee, read the paper, and you've got to rush out the door. Compare that to a day that is deliberate, methodical, and makes you feel good, guaranteed, every time. The third thing is that you can make progress towards your MIT, your most important task. So I highly recommend people use the morning to do anything that allows them to make progress towards whatever their main goal is right now. Maybe the goal's fitness, maybe it's spirituality and feeling well, maybe it's dating and relationships. So just waking up 30 minutes earlier to dedicate some focused period of time towards your one main growth goal in your life is dramatic, the effect it can have. If there is nothing else you do, if all you do is you get up and for 30 minutes, you're gonna read that relationship book and consciously choose to act differently today. You're gonna to read the finance book, choose to do your financial life differently today. You're gonna to go and do your walk or your yoga for 30 minutes, or you're gonna dedicate it to spirituality and mental health and feeling well. Just doing that dramatically will change your life. Just having the time to dedicate to your most important mission is life-changing. The fourth thing is that an evening and a morning routine typically gives structure to what's typically a wasted part of the day. So we tend to squander morning time and evening time, primarily because we're not held accountable by a boss or by some other aspect that's external authority in our life. So 
In the morning, even if you wake up early, maybe a lot of people spend it reading the news or watching TV or listening to NPR. But instead, if you use it to deliberately build a life you want, and hey, maybe that is watching the news or listening to the radio, that's fine too. But deliberately choosing to have structured time towards the life you want is also one of the most important things. And maybe the evening is even a better example because we come home, we're tired, we have dinner, and then many of us watch Netflix for three hours, four hours a day. But just by consciously deciding the beginning block of the day, the ending block of the day, I'm going to do something aligned with the kind of life that I want to live and the kind of person that I want to be. Now, the last thing that I find really valuable is that you can begin your day calm versus rushed. I'm someone who is always rushing and I hate it and I'm working on it. The morning especially is such a rushed time where I don't have time to eat, I don't have time to relax, I can't just sit out the window and listen to a good audiobook or self-growth program. And the fact of waking up even just 20 minutes earlier gives you some leeway just to have calm, just to have a moment of peace before the chaos of the day begins. And it's something that becomes really addictive. Once you begin doing that regularly, it's almost impossible to go back to life the way it was, where you wake up, shower, and you're literally running out probably without even eating, maybe just your coffee on the way. The difference of just 15, 20 minutes of calm is completely, completely will set the tone for your day and really for your life. So those are my personal opinions as to why you should set a morning or an evening routine, ideally both, if you can afford to do that. But really, these are some simple rituals that can make a big difference in the quality of your life. Whether the life right now is terrible or your life is going amazing. And before you guys go, I've actually shot a video on this exact same topic right on over here.